Hi everybody, tonight we're going to be reading Young Pillars by Charles M. Schultz, The Peanuts Man. Now I've already read a couple of these pages and I've laughed myself silly, so I'm just going to move on uh, to the ones I haven't read yet. Um, now let's see. Can we go somewhere to sit down? <laughs> you see, you see, this young lady is far too short for this man, and I can only presume that her neck is getting tired. <laughs> I don't think you have held my hand since... I don't think you have held my hand once since you became treasurer of the youth group. <laughs> <laughs> As you can see here, he is holding the money from the treasury that he has supposedly been safeguarding, and she is not pleased. She is looking for some fucking sex, for some romance, but this guy, he doesn't get it. He, he cares about money only, and you know, that's sad, really. But it is still funny. On this page, we have these two. They seem to have tennis rackets. Let's see what the caption says. I think we're quite lucky to have been born into the first society in all history that is dominated by teenagers. <laughs> Little did they know. Little did they know. What do you mean, I don't look feminine? I have a ribbon in my hair, haven't I? <laughs> you see, now, the humor here, if you're not privy to the social norms, at least in America, when a character, or somebody in real life as well even, has a ribbon in their hair, it is considered feminine. But this comic seems to call the very construct of this in the question. Very observational. Very observational. Now, these two seem to be walking down the street. There's a tree in the background. It's a very lovely tree. The art is impeccable and minimalistic, I might add. Uh, I don't know. I think if I were a minister, I wouldn't even want me in the congregation. <laughs> Unnamed Christian youth, you slay me so. Let's move on. I thought she was saving my letters because she liked me. Now I find out it's because the church is having a paper <laughs> she's not interested in him at all and he is forlorn over this but his friend is you know seems to be helping him out he seems to be supporting him he seems to be there maybe he doesn't care we don't know yet we don't know yet let's read on i've been honking for 20 minutes but i guess the motor drowns out the horn <laughs> Oh, <laughs> is that not completely ironic? I think I like pledging better than tithing. It doesn't involve so much arithmetic. Now, that one's a little dry. That one's a little bit dry. Uh, that's kind of uh, just, you know, it's his preference. It's his preference. And that's okay. Oh yeah? Well, I bet I'm twice as humble as you are. <laughs> oh, Schultz. Oh, Schultz. You know. You know that it is not humble to brag like that. But here, this man is bragging about his humility. <laughs> A complete paradox. Now, on this page, I don't know what's going on here. Um, just a lot of hatching. Maybe it has something to do with the uh, text. Let's see. 
that was our pastor. He said if I had to eat one more hot dish, he'd die. Huh. I don't really get that one. Maybe it's just a woman joke. <sighs> Haven't you heard? Right after the evening service, there's going to be a wiener roast. You know, that's that's impractical. He should have uh, he should have waited. I I feel like I'm losing a little bit of gas here. I'll maybe it's, maybe it's time for tonight to throw the towel in. But we will return to this lovely piece. I bid you all <laughs> A jolly good night.